Touches the nut, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Camera crew, light it and go. Uh, we're here shooting for local life today, and basically because we bring cameras in, we can sneak in anywhere we want, right? <laughs> So we are going to be snooping inside this house. Can't really tell you what we're doing today and why we're here, but if you stay tuned, we will show you later. Excellent, right like that. And Otter is looking super fantastic too. Otter's going to need an Instagram page now. I'm just saying. She had well, no, she had a Snapchat page. Really? But she got ridiculous. <laughs> so we closed it. Um, was your daughter helping you with that? Yes. <laughs> We're rolling. Yeah. We are here in Bluffton on no, Shell, um, Tabby Shell Road. Tabby Shell Road, sorry. Um, shooting for Local Life, and we're here with Elaine, and um, we're just talking about how fabulous her house is. And you can tell us a little bit about who you are and mm -hmm. why we're here. And your fabulous kitchen, your fabulous <laughs> fireplace around everything. It's everything. Yeah. Okay. And Tetas. And Tetas. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, my name is Elaine Gallagher Adams. I am, I don't know, I never know what to call myself. Uh, a friend calls himself a climatic architect, and that's basically what I am. I work with climate and architecture. Uh, I'm also, I'm just passionately into sustainability. And I, I tell people sustainability is living, designing, breathing in a way that allows all living things to thrive in perpetuity. That's the easiest way to describe it. So any decision you make, you say, am I, am I keeping anything from thriving in perpetuity? And a lot of our decisions do, right? So whether that's energy, water, consumerism, whatever. Um, and so I teach this at SCAD, Savannah College of Art and Design. I teach architecture studio, always a green studio. And I teach sustainable design uh, there. And I teach historic preservation, which is also sustainability, because the greenest building is the one that's already there. And uh, so I, I really believe in this. And when I'm not at SCAD, I'm at LS3P Architecture, uh, LS3P Associates. I'm the director of sustainability for a 330 person firm. And uh, one of the things that I want to do is change how we design buildings in the South. I came to the South from Denver, but I grew up in the South, so this is not foreign to me. I recently did a TEDx talk, so you can Google it on TEDx. You know I'm gonna stalk you. Okay. <laughs> TEDx Hilton Head Women, you'll go find it, you'll find me, as well as 12 other amazing women talking about important things. And uh, it was a great experience. I encourage anybody with any kind of message to try to do a TEDx talk. Uh, everything's important if you believe in it. If you're passionate about it, you should talk about it. And so it was a really nice opportunity for me to present a message to people who usually don't hear it. We have um, sort of uh, an environmental apathy in the southeast, which has kept us from catching up to the rest. Um, but I designed the house to be daylight autonomous, which means I don't need electric lights. When I do turn on electric lights, they're all LED. The house uses a third of the energy of the average home in South Carolina, which allowed me to make it completely solar powered. I am connected to the grid because I sell excess energy back to the grid. So it is kind of great. I have a thousand gallon rainwater cistern that feeds into my organic garden, which I love. So it only feeds food, not my yard. My yard is just a little bit of turf and a lot of pine straw and natural native and adaptive species. I don't water stuff that doesn't need to be watered. Um, I live really simply, really well. I'm this busy. doesn't look simple. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's and that's why we're coming back tonight to the porch with you, even though you're not going to be here. It's incredibly low we maintenance. Need some wine up there. There we go. We'll be here. You can join us. <laughs> but it's, it's really low maintenance. And I always tell people when you design a good building, um, part of that is building for a tight building. And one of my messages in the Southeast is you design a tight building, a tight house, and you don't have bugs. Whatever your motivation is, I don't That's care. That's a huge motivation. Right. So then you can walk around without shoes on in the house too because you don't need to Well, worry about no, I have a giant dog house. that brings in dirt. Mm -hmm. And occasionally, if a bug is in here, it's because she's brought me a prize. Mm -hmm. But they don't come in on their own. I usually see it enter. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you. This is a fabulous morning. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>